So then, given that the function fx is equal to modulus x and this one are not one-to-one -one function. So what does it mean one-to-one -one function? So we know that this is a function. So to be considered a function, so one object must have one image. But then, for it to be one-to-one -one function, so one object must have one image and one image must have one object. So it must only be mapped at one uh, at one point only. So you see here, you have fx is equal to modulus x. So you know, when x is smaller than 0, when x is smaller than 0, so for example, if x is equal to negative 2, you will get positive. So when x is larger than 0, which means if x is equal to 2, you will also get positive. So you see here, at this point, uh, you can say that the image of 2 got 2 objects. So this is not a one-to-one -one function. So you must make a restriction. So we must make a restriction so that, so that image can only have one object. So for these cases, we can always make it positive. So when it is always positive, so uh, we, when it is always positive, then the image will only have one object. So in this case, this one is uh, x is larger or equal to 0 because x model 0 is still 0. You won't have two options. So here we see this is x4. fx is equal to x4. So we know that anything uh, power, so this one x4 right so fx is equal to x4 so anything uh, powered with even number will always be positive so we don't want uh, we have to make sure that this number will always be positive so x must also be larger than 0 so determine the suitable condition in the domain f so that the new function become one to one function to make sure that it is one to one function we must make sure that the value of x is not negative it will always be positive. So, condition should be x is larger than 0. So, B from A, find the inverse function for each of the function f. So, we know to find inverse function. So, to find inverse function, first, we must equal to y, equal to y, and then second, we must find x. So, in this case, we see here fx is equal to modulus x. So, fx is equal to modulus x. So, modulus x is equal to y. And we know that x will be always larger than 0. So, here in this case, x is equal to y. Because when we open the modulus, when, uh, when we open the modulus, it can be either positive or negative, right? But because we restrict that x must be larger than 0, so x is equal to y. So we know x is the inverse function. So f inverse y is equal to y in term of y. So f inverse x is equal to x. So for this one, f x is equal to x4. So equal to y, x4 is equal to y. So we want so x is equal to so root of 4 y. So x is the inverse, so f inverse y, because this is in term of y, so we get, so this is also equal to y 1 over 4, so f inverse x is equal to x 1 over 4. So you see when you change y here, you also change here to x. So this is the answer, this is power, okay, one, x 1 over 4. So 11, if the graph of a function at its inverse function intersect, what the two, would the two graph intersect on the line y is equal to x? And what is the possibility for the two graph to intersect on other line? <coughs> so for inverse function, y and x will be exchanged. For example, if you have y, x, then the inverse would be y x so for example this graph so if this one is f x 
then F inverse X would be something like this. So, for example, if the point on Fx is 4, 4, then we know this one, X is equal to Y. So, this one, F inverse X, F inverse X, we will have the same point which is 4, 4. So, that's why we can see many of the function and inverse function intersect at Y is equal to X. But then, it does not necessarily intersect at y is equal to x. Okay, you see here, possibility intersect on other line. So, for example, so on the left, if we have this kind of graph, so if we have this kind of graph, so if this one is fx, so f inverse x, so you see, it will be going another way around. So, maybe this is y is equal to x, but you might also intersect at other line. So, possibility for the graph to intersect on other line there is possibility it can intersect at other line uh, beside y is equal to x and then because we are given range so uh, maybe it won't even intersect at y is equal to x for example it, it, if it is given range that uh, x is from here to here for example so here would the two graph intersect on the line is equal to x uh, the answer is not necessarily not necessarily and possibility to intersect at other line of course there is possibility to intersect other line